Today's question comes from Lorena and she asks, how can I begin saving for my future and my children? Thanks so much. I look forward to learning from you. Well, Lorena, this is a great question. The reason that this is a great question is because everybody wants to know how to save for their future and how to save for their children, especially if they have them. Um, the first thing you might be thinking of is, you know, if my children go to college, how am I going to afford that? Or how can I just afford the day-to-day -day items um, to take care of my kids? So I guess the first thing that would be best to start with is start with your own personal retirement because the worst thing is to have children and then have those children have to take care of you when they get ready uh, to start their career or they start their journey to financial success. It's gonna drag them down just a little bit if they have to uh, you know, spend the money to take care of you while you're in retirement. So you've gotta think of yourself first. Yes, you have children and you always wanna put them first, but when it comes to retirement and thinking about your financial success, you have to think of yourself first. And so for this, I would like you to begin thinking about retirement and how you're going to start saving for retirement. You can do so in an employer-sponsored 401k plan if that's available to you, especially if your employer offers free money on top of the money that you are saving as well. If they offer that, make sure that you deposit enough to get that match. So if they say that they'll match you dollar for dollar for the first 3% that you put in, make sure you're putting in at least 3% and then you'll get that extra 3% from them and that will allow you to um, you know, get that free money so you can begin saving for your retirement. I recommend that you shoot for at least 15% of your pay, not take home pay, but your actual gross pay. And what's important about this is that 10% seems like a good starting point, but it's really not enough. It's not enough if you're serious about your retirement and you want to have a good solid chunk of cash when it's time for you to retire. The reason that 10% is not enough and 12% is not enough is because we have rising healthcare costs here in the US. And so if you want to think about the healthcare costs that you're probably going to encounter the time that you retire, then uh, you need to save more. We're also living longer because if you're staying healthy and you are thinking about the quality of the food that you eat and taking care of yourself by exercising, then you're likely to live longer. And so because we have longer to live and because we may potentially have healthcare costs, it's important that we start saving for retirement and save more than what is typically recommended, like the 10 to 12%. It's important that we get up to about 15%. Now, when you're thinking about saving for your children, you can start very simply saving for them in a college savings plan. There are a couple of different options. You can choose a 529 college savings plan, and these are gonna give you some tax benefits as you save for your kids. Another option is to hire your children. And this is a little bit unorthodox, but if you hire your children, you can open a Roth IRA for them. Since they'll be underage, you have to help them out with it. And as long as they're earning an income, they can begin saving in a Roth IRA. You have to help them file taxes as well. And this is something that you can do, help them file their taxes, and then all of that money that they're earning and then putting into their Roth IRA continues to grow for them tax-free because they've already paid the taxes on it. Because they're so young and because they're earning um, probably not 50,000 a year, maybe they're earning uh, 5,000 a year or 10,000 a year, they can put all this money away in there. They'll be in a very low tax bracket, so they probably won't have to pay too much in taxes. And then as they grow up, they continue to have that Roth IRA money. So that's another great way to begin saving for your kids. If you have more questions on how to save for retirement or how to save for your children, make sure that you leave them either in the comment box below or head over to youngfinances.com and go to the contact form. You can leave me a question there. You can also email me directly at Letitia at youngfinances.com. I always look forward to hearing your questions and being ready to answer them. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and series of Ask Letitia as I will be answering more questions just for you guys in the coming weeks. Thanks so much. Bye.